Hello everyone and welcome to the Steam Next Fest video. I'm still trying to churn more out. I'm still trying to make as many videos on this as I can. I've still got multiple games I want to try and get to before they all jump away off the uh, off the list from Steam. And in this one, we're checking out Casino Tycoon. Now, you know me, I'm a big sucker for a tycoon game of some description. And there are more and more varieties of these available. The problem is, is that they all become rather generic and are effectively the same game underneath, but with just a different skin on the top. So we're going to give this one a try. It's made by a small uh, dev team of three people. Um, so let's see if this one is any different, is any good. And of course, as always, if you are enjoying the content, make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. And uh, yeah, all that good jazz. So then, without further ado, let's get ourselves into the game. There's absolutely no way that this game has already crashed on me. <laughs> oh no, I think it has. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Let's click start game. Hopefully we can get somewhere. Right, here we go. Tutorial. Uh, use the computer to order slot machines using the computer. Uh, then place them freely in your casino. Fill the bar and ring the bell to open up. Okay. Uh, God, blimey, that is very sensitive. Okay. Uh, right, we have $5,000 unis. What's in the shop? Uh, so we can get slot machines, roulette tables, or a blackjack table. Uh, required license level is minimum level one. Do we, what? What license level do we have? Uh, so do we have to? But okay, so we have to purchase that license first. Then we'll buy. Should buy two of them. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, we'll buy some uh, some cola. We need a bar license as well. We don't. Is that not available in the demo? We have to be level two, perhaps. Maybe that's what it is. Um, okay, well, it's, uh, it's cola or nothing. Okay, there we go. Hires. Nobody. Looks like we're doing it all ourselves. Uh, right, so where is our casino? Oh, here we go. Here's our casino. Yes, look at this. So we've got a lovely little jukebox over there. Right, so where do we want to place this? We can rotate it round. <laughs> Should we just plonk it? Slap bang in the middle of the room. That's not straight either. That frustrates me. Is that straight? I'm trying to look at the lines. Yeah, I think it is. I'm looking at the lines on the floor. I think that's straight. And we'll have another one. What's that on the side? Certificate of quality. Okay. Uh, right, let's go behind again so we can use the lines on the floor as a me measure of which to say that it's is in line. I think that's about right. That's okay. That's good. That's all right. So we got two, we got two of them. Here's our cola. Where is our bar? There it is. Uh, there we go. We got so we got two slot machines and six bottles of coke. One of which looks like it may have been opened, because that is not a regulation cola bottle cap, is it? That one is definitely a third party job. Right. Okay. Uh, so we're, we're going to open up. Yes, that's, that's the, that's the sort of noise you want to hear. Oh, hello. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to, uh, welcome to our new casino. Welcome. Okay, right, we're, we're already at capacity. Any more and we're in trouble. We haven't even got a chair. Do we need to get chairs? Let's stand up. There's no way, she, that better not mean she won already. I'm not paying out on the first spin. Okay, I think that means I didn't do anything. I can tamper with it. What does tamper mean? Oh, <laughs> I can just make it so... There's no jackpot. I mean, this is outrageous. Okay, we've got to make a jackpot, haven't we, surely? Right, we'll make it a very, a very generous... I was trying to get the two... Why can't we just write the number in? This is, this is annoying. Okay, $259 for that one. <laughs> Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to leave if you do that again. So, Casino is level one. I don't understand what else we can buy. Right, can we get some music on here? Because it's very... I mean, it's very, very quiet. Can we turn it out? <laughs> 
<laughs> can we turn? Okay. Right. Okay, you, you were levitating. Uh, I'd like some cola. Okay. Uh. Oh, okay. Did I just give it to her? Right, I think I did. So that guy left. No one's gone to the cashier yet, which means no one's won. This is this is good. So do we have to collect the money from the machines? Oh no, it goes up and it goes up on its own. Fucking how much did she just spend on that spin? Did she just do a hundred they're doing a hundred dollar spins? You can come again. I mean, how like incredibly lonely in life would you have to be to come to a casino like this and put a hundred dollars in one of these slot machines when there's only two in the entire room? My money went down briefly then. Did that mean she won something? I mean, if I go into the cashier, what's in here? Oh, we've got chips and stuff. Space, give money, G, cash out, leave the desk. Okay, we'll have to, hopefully we'll get an opportunity to play with that. Are we enjoying ourselves? That's the main thing. Are you guys all having a great time? It's half past eight in the evening. Oh, she's had enough. I I can feel it in my bones. You're a winner. You're on a winner. I guess we don't have to do anything on the cashier stuff because the cashier is only for things like uh, cashing in chips and stuff, right? If they win from this, they'll just get the payout immediately and walk out. Do we get any kind of, like, feedback? What's in here? Oh, those are toilets, I presume. Oh, look, here's our uh, money counting machine. Otherwise known as money laundering machine. So, we need to get minimum level of two before we can get uh, a bar license and a table games license. And then we can start selling red wine, champagne, and white wine. Okay. Well, so, I mean, so far, I would say that this game is incredibly similar to those other games. You know, Bar Simulator and all those other ones that you can do. That doesn't mean that it's not going to be fun, right? Because although I've not played it, I know that Supermarket Simulator, for example, is very uh, popular. I would, however, like to have some level of interaction other than just clicking on the bottle of cola. That would be nice to be able to say, right, here's a... Here's a glass, have some cola, put it in a glass and watch them drink. And put maybe put some tables down. So, I mean, like with all these games, you could go very, very deep into the simulation, right? You could do tons of different things. As the, uh, as the, as the game progresses, I suspect it will get more intense. There'll be more things to do. But right now, it's, um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty limited in my casino as to what we can do. We're standing around watching people spend copious amounts of money on our two slot machines. When I wonder what would happen, for example, because it doesn't appear to be any kind of system of feedback, right? So we, we're not getting any uh, feedback on customers unless maybe you get it at the end of the day, but I wonder what would happen if we just, no jackpot and made it very crooked, so there was literally no opportunity to win. Right, so we can end the day now if we want to, or we allow them to keep playing. I mean, we're almost at casino level one. It feels like we should allow them to keep going. I think we just buy a whole load of slot machines for day two. So like night, was it $900 each? Okay, right, they're all done. Let's end the day. There we go. Broke customers. Okay, right. We uh, we had four customers who came in and spent money they didn't have. We only served two drinks, uh, and we made what's that? Two and a half grand, effectively. There we go. Right, that was the end of day one. We're into day two. Right, we're gonna buy another couple of those. Buy some more cola. Fill up the fridge. And away we go. What else is on there, actually? Props and upgrades. Maybe they get unlocked as we uh, level up our casino. Our casino is already level two, though, which is good. Right, back to uh, using the uh, thingies on the floor. Not entirely sure. Is that straight? 
definitely not that. Yeah, okay, I think we're good there. So in terms of the gap between the two of them, about that. And then we'll put another one. Is that straight? Yes, it is. About like that. Oh no, that one's not straight, is it? Oh dear. There we go, that's straight. It's annoying that there's no like snapping tool. Anyway, right. Those four are good. We can uh I'm going to put one of these bottles away quickly first because I would be very annoyed if we um, started the day and then those Coke, Coke bottles disappeared. So we'll do one though. Oh no, there's more, more Coke behind there, behind the plant. Okay, we can. We can open up and the Coke will stick around. There's a Coke, there's a Coke bottle hovering. Good day, good day everybody, good day. It's 20 past four and you're coming into a casino. You are the sort of customers that we like here. Who's that man coming in? He looks suspicious. There we go. We have lots of coke and one hovering one. Look at that. Straight from the gym, these two. Straight from the gym and into the casino. We also need to... Uh, put, we'll put a jackpot on these. It would be kind of nice if we had the ability to speed time up. Unfortunately not. We are at casino level two already, and we're making money pretty quickly. Look at that money. It is shooting up. Uh, so licenses, we can now get ourselves a bar license or a table license. I want to get one of those licenses to do blackjack and roulette. So we need to let the money go up. I want a blackjack table, and I want a roulette table early doors. Hello. What can I get you? I have cola or cola. Yeah, cola. Would you like our special hovering variety? Is our jukebox not on? Okay, I really, I could really do with some um, some ambient sounds in here because we got this really. It's a really nice looking like room, like to have this casino in. I mean, one thing that perhaps would have been slightly different, slightly better, is if you just had a little bit more money to spend on machines and bits and pieces, but have a smaller venue, less prestigious venue, because this venue is quite. Nice. It's, this is really quite a smart little place. So to have this amount of money to spend in such a in a in a in a casino like this seems a bit odd. But anyway, right. License purchased. We now need you guys to spend all of your money, please. Well, they have done well so far. They have been spending money nicely. No one seems to want to buy any coke though. I bought all that coke and filled up my fridge, and uh, I sold one bottle today. Oh, he's back for seconds. He got outside and he thought, oh, actually, do you know what? One more spin. One more spin. It's my lucky day. I can feel it. I and mean, he's back as well. Oh, dear. Okay, he appears to have broken his neck. Oh, he's, he's straight in from football practice. He's come from the Euros. Look at him. Absolutely jacked. He's actually got... A, he has actually got a full football kit on. He's even got football boots on. <laughs> oh, God. This game... Scuff Cristiano Ronaldo in the house. Casino level three. Yes. We're going up in the world. Well, I like the fact that this is... Um, we are going up pretty quickly, right? This is not a, a slow process to get money. To get things going. It's not like we've got to do days and days and days to get enough money to buy anything new. I'm assuming if we buy a blackjack or a, blackjack or a roulette table, that means we're also going to have to hire staff. I wonder how these guys feel with them gambling and I'm just standing here, rubbing my hands together with a big smile on my face. It's a shame that it doesn't uh, give you a bit more of a breakdown as to the machines. In terms of, you know, whether whether they've, uh, how often they've paid out, for example. Okay, doesn't it look like we've got the most diverse list of uh, characters who can come into our casino? Can we go through there? Okay, no, that's a black hole. I think we can already afford ourselves a roulette table. Do we go blackjack? What do we think? Roulette or blackjack? I like the sound of a roulette table. So, yeah, do we now need to hire somebody? Restricted to staff? No. 
So does that mean I've got to man the the uh, the roulette table? We'll have that just in the uh, in the corner like that. Surely we have to have a staff member. Look, somebody's coming in to play roulette. And there's no one there. There we go. Didn't actually see what your name was. Welcome. Oh, dealer. You were born for the job. <laughs> I always wanted to be a gangster. Well, you can be part of my mafia empire. Oh, hello. What do you think? What do you think you're? Oh, they've come to get money, haven't they? Yes. Although it is quarter to one in the morning. Right. So what have I got to do here? Uh, give money. I don't think we can do this because I think. Oh, 373 in chips is what we've got to give them. One, two, three. Four, five. Hang on. Six, seven. Dun, 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 dun. A very, it's an oddly specific number, isn't it? There you go. All right, how much are you giving me? 474. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, seventy. Four. There you go. There we go. We've done some cashierness. And then I'm going to kick them out of my casino. <laughs> I wonder if they're still there. Right, 16. Oh, look, we can get, we can actually get ourselves a blackjack table as well. We're going to have to, we're going to have to get another member of staff in though. We're definitely going to have to do some cashiering. Okay, right, blackjack table. Can just go there for the time being. That is absolutely fine. I think we're probably all right on uh, on drinks, aren't we? Uh, oh, look, there's another man called Dealer. Who also wanted to be a gangster. What are the odds? Okay. Yes. Here we go. This is what we came here, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we came here for. Frame rates dropped. Blackjack's causing lags. All right, we should get loads of people coming in now. Look at all these chairs. Look at these premium... Chairs that we've stolen from a kid's nursery. Right then, how much would you like? Uh, right. 329. Is that 300? It was. 25. 329. Enjoy. Cash out? What, I, what, what did I... Oh no, what have I done? What have I done? I don't want to cash out. Uh, right. Have I got any money left? 404. Why are they so specific with their monies? This is very odd. Lots of people coming in, though. That was a lot of, uh, lot of money for not many notes. 431. Go. Okay, go. Okay, this is just a, an orderly queue forming here. That's one too many. Uh, ten. And yes, there you go. Three fifty-seven. There we go. Right, let's go and watch some some games being played. Okay, there's no no one's placing any bets. Anyone win? Can we bring the level of excitement up, please? I'm not feeling the vibes. Okay. So, at least he's trying to do the animation. It's obviously that needs finishing. That's fine. But we are full up. Look at the money! Look at the money in the top left, in the top right even. I wasn't paying attention to that. Oh my god, we can get so much already. We can just get a load of slot machines. Just watch the money roll in. You can even get an alcohol license now. Oh, look, there was actual cards. There we go. What, what you got? What's the... Oh, okay, never mind. At least there's something going on here. Oh, what's he got? 18. You're fucked. You're fucked. And you're fucked. 
It also doesn't appear that the dealer is offering any opportunity to stick or twist, which is kind of against the uh, the spirit of the game Blackjack, isn't it? And the dealer just draws two cards and goes, oh, I won. <laughs> I don't know what this cash out thing is all about. Where do I take this? Take oh hello, sorry. Do you want a drink? What would you like? Some cola. Where's all the coke that was in that fridge gone? Right, where are we going with this? Are we running out? Oh, hang on. No, we've got to go into here. We've got to do this. Yes. Look at that's all the money. Right. Okay. Yes. Now that's very satisfying. Okay. So is this money that we haven't got yet? So is our money going to jump up in the top right-hand side? Does it jump up when I take this? No. Yeah, in fact, it went down. So I'm not altogether sure the point of what I'm doing here. Okay, well, we did it. Oh, hello. Hang on. Scuff David Beckham wants some, uh, wants some change. That's a lot of notes. Oh, no, that's too many, isn't it? That is too many. Uh, right. There you go. No one's come to uh, hand in chips yet, though, so I assume that means they've all sucked. Is that what that means? Oh, hello. Good day to you, madam. I can't get my head around the specifics of the money that's being dished out here. It's so weird. Imagine going into a casino and saying, hey, I've got, um, I'd like to get uh, £406.17, please. Look at the monies. We're almost at 10 grand. So is nobody going to... So I don't get the opportunity to take the... Uh, I mean, I've got dollar bills here, so it suggests that if somebody does win, do I need to adjust the table? No, so it's not like a slot machine where I can adjust it. They just have to come over and, and get monies. There you go, have a Coke. Oh, you want a Coke as well? Oh, look, Neil Gallagher's here. Actually, it looks more up from here. It looks like Jay from the Inbetweeners. Okay, right. That's some uh, some fine cola being handed out there. Right, what do you want, sir? 386. I feel like I'm a Monopoly banker here, just giving out random amounts of money. My God, the entire football team's here. What's this guy doing? Someone bought their child. Oh, no, he sat down. I thought it was just a small boy. Okay, there's some, some some things have happened. Some things are going wrong. The game doesn't like people being in the casino this late. Get out. Oh, we made a lot of money. We made a lot of money. They're all still broke, though. We need some rich people to come in and spend big monies. Right, what are we going to do now? So, I think license-wise, I think it makes sense to get some bar licenses. Get some, uh, get some drinks. We're very upmarket. Red wine, white wine, and champagne. Is this going to attract the rich people? Perhaps. Um, oh, look. So that's so we put that money in our vault. Is that where it went? Is that where the money went? And we'll buy get another blackjack table as well. There we go. Lots of money is being bought. Look at all of those. Right. Let's... Uh, fit these ones they're gonna go back to back can't really tell it's gonna have to be I'm gonna have to eyeball this as best I can okay next one the amount of money we're gonna earn off the back of this it's gonna be crazy This may not be perfect, but it's going to have to do. Right, how are we looking there? Uh, actually, I think that's pretty good. I think that's not bad at all. Uh, right. Put that down for a second. Get another blackjack table. It can go there like that. Is that level? Is not. That'll do. About there. Uh, let us get a 
Let's see if the dealer family has somebody else for me. Oh, would you know? They do. The dealer has another member of the family that wants to come and join. What are the odds? Right, okay. I'm in to spend your money. Okay. Oh my god, okay. There we go. So we're looking out for some rich looking people. You look a bit more uh, like you know how to dress. Are you a rich person? Are you coming in with more money? We're gonna have to do a lot of cashiering potentially. There we go. Look at our lovely looking fridge. Premium drink. Oh no, we need to we need to set the old jackpots, don't we? Shall we set the jackpot jackpots higher on, on these ones? Right, see if there's I don't know if this will attract more customers because there's a a bigger reward. And we can actually set it to five hundred dollars, which is a little bit more satisfying. Down, please. I don't know what you're cheering about, mate. I've not set the, uh, the jackpot level yet. All right, come on. 500, 500. There we go. We'll set these to 500 as well. Let's just... We're making more money. We can afford to pay out a little bit more. We're still going to make money because it's it's still uh, leaning towards a, a not very good payout level. So it's fine. I could be a casino. Holy shit, that's a big queue. Right, sorry, sorry. Anyone at the bar? No, we're good. Okay, right. 380. I guess we'll find out um, whether we have rich people in, if they start coming in here and maybe like giving us thousands or something. 419. Okay. Next. 427. Away, keep going. Next. Oh, 400. About time. Finally, somebody comes in with an easy amount of money. 381. Can I just say as well, there's been absolutely no tutorial in this game. But we are making money. We are making lots of monies. Nobody coming in with any uh, big amounts of money so far. Mr. Beckham, what can I do for you? 465. 477. Right, there we go. Right, so if I now cash out and run away with this money... Wow, look at these stacks. I still don't really fully understand. It's just going into some kind of, of vault. I don't really know what the point of me doing this is. Okay, right, everyone is looking after themselves, which is nice at the moment. But yeah, we don't, we're not paying out anything at the moment, which is kind of odd. What can I get for you, sir? You like some champagne? I'm assuming that's champagne. Everyone drinks champagne like that, don't they? Got people queuing over there as well. You would like some white wine. I'm going to assume it's that one. Okay, okay, go, go. <laughs> Standing there. And you would like red wine. And uh, that would be one of those. Right, there we go. Right, quickly over to the cashier. 426. Okay, go. 339. Oh, you're poor. David Beckham, you look like you look like a champagne man. Yes, I thought you were. Spy a champagne man from a mile away. I 
I'm just not entirely sure what this is doing. Is it is it the money that's going into the vault? So it's counting the bills at the end of the day, effectively. Maybe I should just do this once at the end of the day. It's kind of satisfying, though. Even if I'm not fully aware of the point of what I'm doing. Yes, that was quite satisfying. Oh, God. Look at all these people wanting drinks. You know what? End of the day, go home. Four drinks, four roulette spins. 14, sorry. Is that what it was? 43 hands down. 241 spins. Making lots of money yet again. Um, I mean, I don't really... I mean, we're, it feels like we're kind of almost at the end here. Uh, we've literally, there's literally nothing else to buy. Um, can't buy props. Um, I don't know, is that the money in my vault there? Is that what it is? Cash out. Let's take. So we take all the money out of here. So is there? So if I now do that, if I go back and say. Cash out. Yeah, there is nothing to cash out with. Okay. Cashier balance is updated in real time whenever small gains are made in slot machines or you change money for customers. Okay. So we'll keep an eye on that. Let's quickly count our dosh. So it's obviously counting up the money that people have handed over for their chips. I think it's fair to say that, in reality, I do feel like there, this could be, you know, all of these types of simulated games are all designed to be fairly chill. They're not designed to be particularly taxing, or well, at least I don't think they are. They're meant to just kind of be fairly chilled out, fairly relaxing. You don't have to do huge amounts of stuff. Um, but at the same time, you can flesh this out quite a lot. If you really want to make this a, a little bit more of a deeper um, experience for, for players... I think you can. I think you can flesh this out a lot more if you wanted to. It's just at the moment, this is this is pretty bare bones. This is some way away, I would suspect, from being available in any kind of shape <clears throat> to, for people to actually pay money for and, and buy. Let's just bring all the drinks over to our bar. But I would say, though, that, uh, that the formula that I spoke about at the start, where I said that all these simulator games tend to follow the same formula, it's not just the formula they follow, but it's also the, the actual the graphic style as well. They're all very, very similar. These are, I don't know if these are using um, just assets from like the UE engine or something, or the Unreal engine or something like that, or the, um, what do you call it, the Unreal Marketplace. I don't know if that's what they're doing. But it does sort of feel like we are just playing a... Uh, a rinse and repeat game with just a different skin on it, you know? Uh, which one is this one? Is this the white one? It is. Can I also say we're putting red wine in the fridge? That offends me. Right, come on then. So cashier balance. So... Okay, so cashier balance is what we've got in here. And that's updating every time someone gets a payout on the... Uh, on over, on over there is what I'm thinking that means. But there comes a point where I mean, it's going to be really difficult to keep up with this without um, getting some stuff. And another fight. You can have another fight. You can do it in, in those sorts of things. Uh, yeah, without getting some stuff, this is going to get pretty uh, pretty crazy. Because usually the, the thing they do is that when you first get there, it's like the place that you go to is really beat up. You've got to do like take the trash out or repair things and all that kind of stuff. That's usually the MO of all of these types of games. In the demo, at least, it hasn't made me do that. That isn't to say that when this game goes to early access or full release that it won't uh, include something similar to that. Cashier balances are already looking pretty tasty. 461. We'll leave, We'll wait until the end of the day. And then I will probably end the demo there. We've actually given them one too many. Um, 
and then we'll cash out and take it all in. Then we'll have these big wadges of cash on our table ready for us to uh, to put away. Jesus Christ, it's never ending. There's somebody waiting at the bar as well. It's never ending, this. Try to go as quickly as I can. But because we have so many tables now, there's so many seats to fill up, so everyone is demanding money. I think we're almost at the end. Right, there we go. Right, that guy won something. Have we got no music here again? Is this jukebox turned off again? Right, what would you like? You want some champagne? There you go. Uh, where is our champagne? Is it that one? I don't think you can put it on the bottom shelf, can you? Which is kind of irritating. Oh, hello. Uh, you want red wine. I seem to have, again, I've uh, somehow managed to make a bottle of champagne levitate. Uh, right, what do you want? 346. 346. You've already been spending money. I like the fact. Oh, we've got our first payout. Yes, look at that. How much did she win? 1,164. Is that right? Congratulations, madam. Now go and put it back in the casino and spend it in the slots. I was beginning to think that we weren't actually going to see that. That somebody at some point was not going to actually win anything. Oh, there's another one. 823. I don't like this. There's too many people winning for my liking. Yes, this is, this is the sort of customer that we like. Ones that come in and spend money with us. Look at the amount of money that we've got again. We've absolutely started raking it in. Right, you go away. We'll serve the drinks. I wonder if they will ever get to a point where people will just stop coming in. This is a big queue for drinks, by the way. And another one has just joined it. Okay, leave. Go away. I have more customers to serve. Jesus, the length of time it takes them to uh, to walk away after I've given them their drink is madness. So, but yeah, look, a lot of these systems are, are clearly not fleshed out. There's a lot more to come from this game, I'm sure. I'd be, I would be interested to see and just how deep this goes and what level of uh, things you can do. I'm not against a game like this, which is a, it's, it's kind of point and click almost. And it does seem very, very easy to make money. Maybe it's just, you know, what it's like to run a casino. Maybe that is just how it is. Um, but uh, yeah, I think um, I would be definitely keen to see a little bit more information about what else they plan to add. What other tables? I want to see more animations in terms of the roulette and the blackjack. I want to see the casino being alive, you know, um, I want to see people sitting down having some drinks. I want to see, you know, I don't know, people serving food, bar snacks perhaps, maybe doing a bit more around here. Just having more to do in, a, in an environment like this when you're in a casino, there's more to do, right? Um, so glasses, cleaning glasses, um, having, a, having a menu, for example, you know, all those sorts of things. That's kind of what I would, uh, I would like to see. But, you know, I'm not against it. I don't mind it. It's okay. Needs work, but it's okay. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below as we begin to wind up proceedings here. Once we serve the lady here, we are going to finish up. I think we've been highly successful and highly profitable, don't you? This has gone very, very well. And you want some cola? Go on then. There you go. 
Don't you come over here. Don't you come over here. Go on the slot machine. Slot machine. Slot machine. Slot machine. For fuck's sake. It's four in the morning. I want to go to bed. Right. You, you, sir, you are the last customer regardless of what happens. Closing. Last orders. Right. Come on in. Quick. Be quick. Oh, okay. He's changed his mind. Right. There we go. Uh, end of the day. There we go. 14 drinks served. We actually spun and did more roulette spins than we did blackjack hands. We had two rich customers come in. After all that. So into day five then, and that's that's how it uh how it went. So yeah, just double checking that there's nothing that uh, we can't or can't do. That is all done. Let's go and cash out. So what's our cashier balance in here? Twelve thousand. So if I do that and cash out, yeah, that goes down to zero. There you go. I see the wadges of cash in here. Yes, look at that. I want to buy one of these machines and then I'm just going to buy 15 to 20 copies of Monopoly and just run money through it just to make myself feel like a gangster. So does that all money then... I'm assuming it all goes into there. I mean, it's not the most secure safe in the world, is it? Because we leave the door wide open 24-7. I would suggest that perhaps we look to close that at some point. I can't see the uh, the piles of cash in there getting any larger. So, but yeah, I mean, what else could they add to this game? I mean, I don't know if you could have rival casinos. Could you have, you know, money laundering operations? Can you get into sort of almost like a bit of a crime element of it? I doubt that's the route they're going to go down, but I guess it would be interesting. Um, but I just want to see more, you know, with these sorts of games, more content, more things to do is always going to be your friend. These games are inherently repetitive. That is the nature of the game. So in order to keep people interested in the medium to longer term you have to add more things in make them aim for things that are higher increase productivity increase efficiency allow you to hire more staff to do stuff um and just make this place more alive if you see what i mean but yeah on the face of it this has not been a bad demo um i've i've but I've been intrigued in, enough in this that I'm going to stick out my wish list and I'm going to keep an eye on things. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you like, comment, and sub, and all that other good stuff. And I'll see you on the next Steam Next Fest video.